Hey y'all, so it's me, your girl TT Ari. As y'all can see, I'm here bare faced. We get pulled back right now. Um, I was just about to start getting ready for school today. It's the first day back to school since um spring break, and I just figured like, hey, <clears throat> why don't I do a little like get ready with me? Hopefully, this could be a little quicker. Then the last one I filmed, I haven't posted that one yet, but that one should be up soon too. But I'm gonna try to make this quick. It's gonna be a cool little like light beat or whatever. I don't really know exactly exactly what I'm going for, so I'm just letting y'all know. But let's just go ahead and get straight into this. <laughs> okay, so first I'm about to use this Makeup Revolution um, Pro Fit Oil Control Fixing Spray. Just spritz that on my face. What I do to like help kind of like uh set my face should i use primer i really do not be using primer at all no because that's not my everyday thing so we're not gonna do that so i'm gonna get my beauty blender and it's a little dirty too usually i get up and wash it before like i do my makeup but i just don't feel like doing it right now so i'm taking this makeup revolution um luxury banana powder and I'm going to put that on my face oh I almost forgot before I do that I like to prime my eyelids whether or not I um and when I say prime I mean like put concealer on them whether or not I am going to be um, wearing eyeshadow just because I don't like my eyelids looking that dark. So that's what I'm doing. And if I know I'm going to do eyeshadow or not, I'll put more. So if this is less just because I don't know exactly how much. Okay. So yeah. And this is just the Maybelline New York in Cafe. So we're gonna go back to the beauty blender and put on the powder and I put it on my eyelids first usually. Go ahead and set them bad boys. Just because I do not, like I said, like my eyelids when they look super dark and whatnot. I feel like this does kind of help my makeup I stay on a little better. And like set and possibly not get as oily, maybe as quickly. So I have been doing this for a little bit now. And depending on how much makeup I'm putting on is how much uh, powder I put on. But yeah, I so um usually when I get up, especially if I have a good feeling. Like, I'll wake up and look at the weather, and that kind of based on, that kind of bases, that kind of bases, that just gives me, like, the idea, like, if I'm going to do my makeup today, if I feel like doing my makeup today, and if I am, what kind of makeup I'm going to do, how I'm going to dress, you know, I think that's pretty common, so, but yeah, I saw it was going to be 82, I was like, okay, it's the first day back, too, so, I got to be big, bitch, <laughs> So then I'm going to take some more Makeup Revolution products, um, the Reveal, the Conceal and Define Concealer, um, and color C13 and C12. They don't like exactly, um... 
have my exact highlight color. This is why I have both because the C13 is exactly like my skin tone. And then um, the C12 is too light. Like it's a little too like white or I guess gray or pink. I want to say gray. So I can't just use that on its own. I tried and I had to go back in. So this is also going to be like a um, no makeup. Makeup look. So no foundation makeup look. Yeah, no. Because I'm not going to use foundation. Most of the time, most of the days, I don't use foundation. If I'm doing like an everyday look or something. I can though. Because I have that Fenty Beauty that is really like, you know, like skin, like butter. But if I just don't really feel like whipping that bad boy out, this is what I do. And as you can see, as I mix the two, like that's more of my highlight color so yeah that's what I do I just put the dark one first and then I put the light one on top and then I get my beauty blender this stuff like is really good coverage but like it really does set fast so like the longer you let it sit the harder it is going to be to uh blend in I'm just bringing these things out. I know I'm supposed to talk in these, huh? So, I'm not very excited about school coming back in, to be honest. <laughs> but this is my last quarter till summer. Um, I don't plan on taking summer classes. If I do, it'll be like two and it's going to be online because I'm going to be traveling a lot this summer. So, um, and with the school I go to, like, you cannot, like, sign up for in-class summer classes and not be there because it's the quarter system. And so, if I don't, like show up if I do not go to the classes I will literally fail the classes and I know this by experience for my first quarter um you can't do that at the school that I go to you just can't like you have to be present um missing a week is like missing like damn near a month Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take my um, Le Creme, Le Creme um, foundation stick in the color Suede 555. Five, five. So I can kind of Do I want to console or do I want to actually pause? I change my mind. I'm gonna um, bake while I console. So I'm going ahead and taking my Ben Nye uh, Camel Luxury Powder, I'm getting my Beauty Blender again, and I'm going to set my face. We are going to bake today.
And I'm gonna do my reverse contour. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my eyelids to darken them up a little bit again and to kind of just set that little bit of concealer I put on top. I'm gonna take out my dirty brushes per usual. I'm like, I know y'all like this is all we see on your channel is dirty brushes. I promise y'all my my brushes are not always dirty. It's just that when I film, I just like get the urge to do it, and I'm not like correctly prepared, so they be dirty, and I just be like, you know, I'm already in front of my phone filming, so you not gonna stop the show. To do all that. So that's that's the why. But yeah, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things this summer, y'all. I'm actually going back home. I like to call it back home because that's where my little happiness is and my people's um to New Orleans this summer. I'm actually going to the Essence Festival. <laughs> I'm going to the Essence Festival and I'm super excited. I cannot wait. Like, I just wanted to go home to go home, but like, I always call it back home. I just wanted to go to New Orleans to be in my zone, be in my set, be where I love to be. But, um, then, my mom was like, let's go past the festival. And I was like, ew. So, we're going. And it's going to be lit. Going to get super turned, super drunk. And what I love about, like, going out with my mom is, like, when we go out, like, together, we have the best time. Like, my mom looks like my sister, first of all. She is... People want to call her a young mom because every time I tell people my mom's age, they'd be like, your mom is young AF. And I'd just be like, mm, okay. But, so, my mom is going to be turning 39 next week. Or no, 40, sorry. She's 39 right now. And I'm 19, so I don't know if that's real young to y'all, but it's my norm, so, yeah. Um, but... Yeah, hence the fact we look like sisters. I look just like hers. That's what everybody says, so. I gotta start out to take that, but. Yeah, so we're going to Essence Festival. I'm super geeked about it. And like I said, I love going out with her because it's always, like, super fun. My mom. I don't want to say, like, she's, she doesn't act like my mom when we're out, but she doesn't act like, you know, like, mad protective or, like, mm, you shouldn't be drinking or, mm, you shouldn't be. She's like, girl, you want to get a drink? I'm like, ew. 
Cause y'all know I get it how I live. When I go out, I go out. So I like to turn up. And I don't need to like try to kill my vibe. Cause my mom is the complete opposite. She's real cool and she, you know, she knows how to live. She knows how to have fun. She's not, I'm over here talking all about my mama, but she's not like a hypocritical parent. You know, like, she's very realistic when it comes to expectations of me and, you know, knowing what I'm going to do at this age. Knowing what I'm going to try and how I'm, you know, just like, hey, I was a teenager. I was a young adult. I know what I was doing. I know what you're going to do. You know, live your life, but be careful. And I'm here if you need to talk about something. My mom is, like, really like my best friend. She's always, like, and, I mean, it's crazy because my mom is a church lady for sure. Like, she loves her some God. Praise him. Um, but she also knows that I'm young, you know, and I'm going to live my life. So, instead of trying to stop me from doing every little thing that may seem like maybe not the best thing to do or just... You know, whatever. She's very understanding and she gets it and she embraces me. She doesn't try to perfect me or make me feel like I have to be super perfect just because, you know, she's more into the church and things like that. Which is something that I love because, you know. I love me some God, but I still am young. I still like to get turned up. So, yeah. And I just kind of build it up to the vibe she's more. So this is like my everyday look, but you know we gotta add some hot vibes. I'm taking this Makeup Revolution palette, the Golden Sugar 2 palette. Alright y'all, I'm sorry, so in the middle of me getting ready to do my highlight, my boyfriend called and he just couldn't hold on, so, but this is the final look, wig is laid, this is so different for me because I never do a, a, um, side part really especially like with this wig but I wanted to try something and I actually like it a lot um so y'all know I just do that little simple look up here and then I went ahead and I went in with my NYX liquid suede cream stick liquid stick with the color orange county this gives this gives me um I think it's called stunna or sauce in Rihanna's collection in the Fenty Something like that. But it gives me those vibes for cheaper. So I think this was like $5. I bought this a while before her um, line even came out. Because I was looking for an orange. And I found it. I do feel like hers is less um, neon though. But nonetheless, it still looks cute on me. It's still different. So I'm still going to wear it today. But um, I'm going to cop that too. And then y'all know I was just putting on my highlight from that uh, Golden Sugar 2 palette. So yes. This is the look. That in the background is my little brother, so I got to go because he just ain't going to let me be. He ain't going to let me live. He was asleep, but now he want to be up. And now I got to go to school. So, y'all have a beautiful day, night, morning, whatever the hell time y'all watching this video. Make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, all that, all that, all that. Like I always say, um... Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning into this video. If you guys want to see some more videos by me, just go ahead and um, 
look for some more. There should be some more by me on the side or whatever, right? Or if not, y'all go to click my little channel and y'all can see what I'm working with. Um, if y'all want to see more looks like this or you guys want to see more risque looks or whatever kind of looks y'all want to see, go ahead and tell me in the comments. Now, let me tell you something real quick. I like to make this PSA whenever I do a makeup video. I am not a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be. Oh, <laughs> um, I just do my own little thing on my own little face. So, it's different strokes for different folks. I don't, I try not to judge anyone else who does their makeup, how they do it. And I hope no one will judge me how I do mine. So, let's keep it cute and talk to me nice in the comments, y'all. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much. And um, let me know what else you guys want to see from me on my channel because I'm really trying to get this stuff on and popping for y'all. So, thank you. Bye. I actually put it up a little high. First time that I saw a boy, it was a warm and sunny day.